But something that I want to talk about to you all this morning as we get started here is that when you're pursuing a goal, when whatever you're pursuing in life, whether it's a job, whether it's relationships, whether it's fitness, there's all sorts of goal, you know, it could be a, a combination of those things. One thing that's critical when pursuing and achieving goals is that you image achieving your goals. So, you know, obviously I've been sharing this journey publicly, but something that I wanna share with you all is that it's incredibly important that if you have a dream, if you have a goal, that you image in your mind you achieving that dream and achieving that goal. Because if you can truly image it, if you can picture it in your mind, then you can make it a reality. When 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 doubt, when hopelessness, when these things, when when these things creep in, it's detrimental to your dreams and your goals. So the key is that you actually have to image achieving these goals. And when you do that, it sets you up for success. And that's something that I'm doing with this series and with my goal of making a million dollars through vibe coding is that I can picture it in my mind. And because I can picture it, that has a huge correlation with why I will achieve it. So that's just something I wanted to share. You know, it does some of the hashtags nicely. But the thing is, is that once we actually incorporate brand profiles, it's gonna put View Creator in a whole different league because essentially when you go down to uh, click generate here, it's gonna ask, hey, what, what, uh, what, what brand profile do you wanna append to this request? And what this is gonna do is it's completely changed the game because you go, you put in all the information about your brand and then going forward, Whenever you're creating things, it's gonna ask, hey, what brand is this for? You know, what, what brand are we creating this description for? And then to be able to update accordingly. So it's really important that you are able to do that. But yeah, I got really into computer science and software engineering while I was at Purdue. So I actually dropped out of school um, and went and pursued a startup. And in the last four years, I have been, a, I'm a four-time startup founder now. Um, the biggest startup that I did was definitely Bright Choice, which was an online platform um, that we scaled to uh, thir over 30 therapists on the platform. And I had to write six million lines or two million lines of code in six months. And uh, it was just an incredible experience. So here's the, essentially the brand profile that I set up. And now what we wanna do is we wanna be able to go over to our platform tools page. And with the uh, description generator, we want to be able to actually append a specific brand profile. So I'm going to say for the YouTube description generator, allow users to also add a specific brand profile. Update the input field to add this logic in and then update the backend API to properly be able to integrate this new functionality where during the description generation service, the service will be able to review the brand profile before description generation. No, not review. It's gonna be able to pass in the brand profile into the description generation process. AYP Codes, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. If you guys are new to the stream, haven't already liked and subscribed, make sure you do so. Let's do a quick sub check. We are at 3,520 subscribers. If you guys are watching, haven't already liked and subscribed, make sure you do so. We had a little bot attack earlier on stream, but nothing's gonna stop us. Had a matrix attack live on stream. AYP Codes just asked, uh, what are we working on today? We're working on View Creator. So for those of you that uh, watch the stream, you know that we're actually launching View Creator to beta testers on Saturday. So we already have a group of 10 beta testers that have volunteered. Um, some may not show up on Saturday's stream, so if you'd be interested in beta testing, make sure that you show up on uh, Saturday's stream, and if uh, some beta testers aren't available, then you'll be able to join the Discord and uh, get an account. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for mainstream launch, and I mean, things are just going great right now, guys. We're making a lot of progress. 
really excited about all the things that are going on. So even like, for example, today so far, I've spent $7 today in this stream about $7, but that's actually not even that bad because I've been using Quad 4.5 Sonnet the whole time. So I'm not super worried about the cost. Uh, Mr. Ilya said, how are you going to develop the project if the code written by the neural network is poor in architecture and if there, this is a huge application, there will be chaos and difficult to fix anything? Yeah, so that's a great question. And really what's happening with vibe coding and with programming with AI is that, uh, you know, it's it ends up just being an extension of the developer. So for example, you know, I've been a developer for, you know, since I was a teenager. And, you know, now I just have this tool that extends myself. So I notice stuff, um, you know, that is problematic, but even with problematic things that end up happening, um, you're able to, you know, alter and make changes and whatnot. But let's actually try our first description here. And uh, let's see here if this is able to, Okay, wait, that's not a PNG. Let's do this one. So let's see if this fails. It didn't fail right away, which is good. Aperium, everything's going smoothly. We, fi we fixed our bot issue. As you can see, we're back down to a uh, normal amount of subs, which is actually a good thing. Um, so I feel good about that. Uh, Doom said, just a suggestion, add in toast notifications for saving buttons so users can know when the input data has been saved. Okay, yeah, that's actually what I should do. Uh, Guys, this is awesome. This is perfect. Look how cool this is. It used the hashtags that I suggested. This is awesome. All right, Sonner package for no toast notifications. Let's now try this out. Let's just do... Okay, yeah. That looks pretty good. The thing is, is like, I come from a very similar background, is that I do not come from a development background either. And now with AI, you know, if you're an AI enthusiast as well, which I would call myself an AI enthusiast as well, is that I also come from an entrepreneurship and business background. And the thing about AI is it gives founders and entrepreneurs the ability to not have to rely on developers to create their products for them. And what I would say, what my advice for you would be is just start creating. Like if you have an idea, just start creating. And as an entrepreneur, that's, that's what I would tell you. Just start creating.